All rise for support court with Judge Vanda B. Judge, this is case number JVB1069, Franklin case. Thank you. You're welcome. You all may be seated. Okay, Ms. Franklin, you brought this case before the court. What's going on? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, um, Judge Vanda. My son was killed three months ago. I have a granddaughter that's nine years old. I've had custody of her since she was a baby. After his death and funeral, Kim decides she wants to come to my house and remove her. Brought the police to my house. After the funeral? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. She did. She did that. As traumatic as it was for me and my family, she decided to remove Rakesha with the police, caused a scene, which she's done in the past. I'm here today for grandparents' rights. I've had my granddaughter since she was a baby. She doesn't even know who this lady is. She knows that she's her mother, but as far as knowing who she is, and with her lengthy past, her when I say when lengthy, you say lengthy past, what do you mean by that? Uh, drugs, drinking, fighting, beating the system. Beating the system. Yes. How did she do that? Welfare, food stamps, housing. Anything that's not legal, she's done. But Rakesha, Rakesha, I said her name right. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, she lives with you. Yes, Your Honor. And prior to your son's death, did your son live with you too, or was Rakesha just living with you? Only Rakesha, absolutely not. He could not live with me. Okay, okay, I understand. But so he... how was she getting benefits if her daughter lived with you? Because as I mentioned earlier, both of them love to beat the system and they used my grandchild against me and my husband just so that they can continue to beat the system. I did put my son on child support. Okay. That I absolutely did. And now you're wanting child support for mom? I want child support and full custody of my granddaughter. Okay. Is there anything else you want me to know before I move over to her? Oh, absolutely, yes. When she brought the police to my house, she told them that I threatened her, and, oh, oh, she threatened me. She threatened to kill me. I said, absolutely not, Your Honor. What I told her when she called, I told her, I said, you know what? If you come over here, I'm not going to be in control. Smith and Weston going to be in control. Oh, okay. Well, it didn't get that far, did it? Well, it didn't because the police drug her from my front yard. Oh, okay. And I'm sorry for your loss as well. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, is there anything else you need me to know before I move over to her? No, Your Honor. Okay. I didn't catch your last name. I just heard your first name is Kim. That's what I want to say. I'm a fan, I'm a fan, I'm a fan. It's Kim Bourgeois. <laughs> Bourgeois. Yes. How do you spell it? B O U D U R E. Oh, okay, is is that French? Yes. Okay. Well, can I call you Lady B? I, yes. I, I think well, I'll butcher Kim. You can call Kim. Me. Okay. Yes, Kim. I think I'll butcher that last name too much. Okay. Okay. So, is all of what she's saying true? You had a history with drugs, drinking. You, she said you're cheating the system, getting welfare. What it sounds like is that your daughter has been living with her this entire time. So, I mean, is what she's saying true? The whole thing is, it's the past, you know. So it is true. The answer is yes. Some of it is, yeah. Okay, which she, part of it is true? As far as the, maybe some of the illegal drug activity that her son and I both partake, partake in, you know, some of that is true, but as far as the food stamps and all that, it's not. She's just going by hearsay, by what people are telling her. Just using that, you know, in this case. Um, as I stated, well, excuse me, as she stated, as far as coming to get my kids, you know, with the police and stuff, that's true. Okay. Because I need Rakesha, excuse me, to come and be with her mom. 
you know, she's getting older, and so is she, you know. So That wasn't nice. She's been taking care of your daughter. So what difference would it make if she's getting older? She has been. Again, all of these words are past tense. It's, okay. it's 2022, and it's time for my daughter to come home with me. But she hasn't lived with you. She hasn't because I was working on my career and getting mm -hmm. myself together, you know, so I can be the mom that I need to be. And, you know, I've done that. And unfortunately, you know, Ricky passed, you know, rest his soul. And it's time for my daughter to come home with her mother. Okay. The I'm not mother... the woman that I used to be, Your Honor. All right. But you are still the woman she doesn't know, your daughter, right? Well, actually, and she doesn't know that, I've been talking to Rakesha for about four or five months now. Talking to her about what? Talking to her, letting her know, you know, first of all, reaching out, letting her know that it's unfortunate that our dad passed, and letting her know that I want us to get our relationship together. I want to be the nurturing mother that, mm. you know, that she needs. Okay, so as of right now, you're a stranger, right? I wouldn't necessarily say strangers. Well, it's not necessarily what you want to say, it's what the facts say. You're a stranger to this child that well, you came and it, attempted I... to remove from her caretaker, right? She's been taking care of her, yes. And I, you know, I commend her for that. But my daughter needs to be with her mother. All right, but you do understand that your daughter needs to be in an environment that's stable, where she is familiar with the person that is taking care of her? Okay, she has to get familiar with her. I am working. I, you know, make good money. I've been paying insurance. So it's not Let's like i totally at the picture. Let's talk about that. How much money do you make? Um, about 70000 70000 How much? You say insurance as well? Yes, I pay one seventy a month. All right. How much of that have you given to grandmother? And it's not a hard question if you've actually done anything. I mean, well, I can say none then. Let's just, you know, be done with it. None. So you make all of this money and you haven't given grandmother anything for your daughter? Well, my, you know, her dad has been taking, taking her the child support and everything up until this right, point. Right, but what so were you doing? I was paying the insurance. Okay. So you were paying the insurance. Yeah. Your daughter living with someone else. Well, she the one wanted the raise up. But ma'am, it is your daughter. <laughs> it's my daughter. You know, I paid the insurance. She wanted a raise. When the dad did the child support, we all just did our boy. You obviously came here to waste my time. <sighs> Not really. I mean. It sounds like it. It sounds like you're trying to evade the obligation of paying child support or paying any type of financial support for this child because you want to do what you want to do. Insurance is not sufficient, ma'am. Oh. Grandmother can pay insurance if she needed to. But, but she has Well, she can't do it without a modification to your court order. That's the reason she's here. Okay, so can my daughter go home with me? No, she cannot. She is going to stay and remain with the person who's always taking care of her. You haven't said anything different to support that grandmother has not been doing the job you should have been doing. So what we're going to do is based on your own testimony, and I believe you told the truth. I did. $70,000 a year, and that's giving you credit with the $170 health insurance. Your gross is $5,663. That brings your net to $4,613. You have one child, correct? Yes. Okay. All right, 20% of that. That brings your monthly child support obligation to $923. And as I stated, you are still to maintain the health insurance. That's over $1,000. And no, it's not. It's under a thousand dollars. So nine something plus the 170? No, you got credit. The oh, okay, 170 okay, okay, was okay, given okay. in your gross. So you got credit for that. $923 a month. It's what's fair. It's what's in the best interest of your daughter. Your daughter is going to remain with her grandmother. Okay, so... Okay. Anything else? You had a question? I'm just going to keep it to myself. Oh, okay. You might want to do that, especially if it was something inappropriate. All right, anything further pertaining to this case? That's it, Your Honor. Okay. Anything further, Ms. Franklin? Yes, Your Honor. 
This lady just sit here and perjured the court. She has three other children that lives with three other different daddies. Oh, wow. And you know, she had more miles on her than, Rock, and than Route 1604. Okay, well, Miss Franklin, um, hold on one second. Do you have other children? Yes. So why didn't you say that? Because, you know, unfortunately, like Rakesha, they live with their dads and their other parent, you know, other side of the family too. Are you paying child support for them as well? No. No? Oh, okay. So you're just not doing anything. I'm paying insurance for them too. Oh, uh, right, right. So beyond uh, insurance, you haven't done anything for them. Is that what I'm hearing? How many other children do you have? Three. So you have three other children. We have to manipulate your child support amount. Um, so. So it should be lower. Let's see. Let's see how much lower it'll be. Uh, all right. Your child support is lower. It went to $680. Oh, see, should have kept your mouth shut. No, you know, first of all, that was rude. Secondly, she's being honest. You are not being honest. But that's okay. You don't have to be honest with me because you know what? One day you're going to have to answer to each of your children. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be your, ba your battle to fight with them. Well, at least they'll know I took care of them by paying their insurance. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And they'll also know you're a stranger. If there's nothing further, you all are dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor. You're Thank welcome. you, Your Honor.